Hello everybody, this is Muhammad Imran. Today we are with another lecture in the subject semantics. The focus of today's lecture is referring expression. First, we will define and understand what is a referring expression. Then, we will have some discussion on referring expression. And finally, we will have some practice. Let's discuss and learn what are referring expression and how they are used in semantics. First, we will define what is a referring expression. A referring expression is any expression used in an utterance to refer to something or someone or clearly delimited collection of things or people used with a particular referent in mind. So we use a referring expression when we want to refer to something or someone and we have a referent of that particular thing or particular person in our mind. For example, if I say that Ali is my friend. So Ali is a referring expression and I have a referent of that referring expression Ali in my mind. Or if I say Ali called Ahmad. So Ali and Ahmad both are referring expression and they have referents which are in my mind. We will explain this notion further on coming slide. Here we have an example of referring expression. The name Fred and an utterance such as Fred hit me, where the speaker has a particular person in mind when he says Fred is a referring expression. So Fred is a referring expression when a speaker says Fred hit me, so a speaker has a particular person in mind, Fred. Now Fred in there is no Fred at this address is not a referring expression. So here Fred is a referring expression. And here, Fred is not a referring expression. What does it mean? It means that every noun cannot be a referring expression if you don't have a particular person or if you don't have a particular referent in your mind. When a speaker says there is no Fred at this address, so a speaker doesn't have in mind a particular person, Fred. Right? So here Fred is not a referring expression because in this case a speaker would not have a particular person in mind uttering the word. So what does it mean? It means that every time a noun cannot be referring expression. Sometime a noun can be a referring expression while other time it can't be. No, a noun can be a referring expression when a person has a particular referent in mind. And a noun cannot be a referring expression when a person doesn't have a particular referent in mind. Example we have in this case Fred hit me so a, part, a person has a particular referent in mind. And here there is no Fred at this address so here we are just talking generally. Or a speaker generally saying that there is no Fred at this address. So when he is uttering this sentence there is no Fred at this address so a the speaker doesn't have in mind a particular person. Practice in referring expression. Could the following possibly be used as referring expression? Circle the answer of your choice. So you can also practice with me. First we have John. Can John be used as a referring expression? Yes or no? So the answer is yes, because when we say John, so we have a particular person in our mind. And John has a referent, a particular referent in mind. Second, my uncle. So my uncle can also be used as a referring expression, because my uncle has also a referent. When somebody utters my uncle, so he or she has a referent in mind. Third, and, and which is a conjunction. So, and cannot be used as a referring expression. Because when we say and, so we don't have a particular referent in our mind. And we are not referring to uh, a particular person or a particular thing. So, and is not a referring expression. The girl sitting on the wall by the bus stop. So, of course, it can be used as referring expression because when I say the girl sitting on the wall by the bus stop, so 
I have a particular girl in my mind? So the answer is yes. And the fifth, a man. When I say a man, I saw a man on the street. So I have a particular person in mind. Answer is yes. And the sixth one, my parents. So when I say my parents, I am referring to pair of things, right? Father and mother or maybe two parents. Fine. So uh, it is. it can be used as a different expression because it has also a reference in our mind. And we, when we say send, which is used as a verb, so send is not referring to a particular thing or person, and it has no reference in mind. So answer would be no. And then we say under, which is a preposition. So under, there is no reference in our mind when we utter the word under. So under cannot be used as a referring expression. Comment. The same expression can be a referring expression or not, or some would put it may or may not have a referring interpretation. Sometimes we use a linguistic expression and that linguistic expression may be a referring expression or it may not be, right? Some would put it as a referring expression or some may not put it as a referring expression and there will be no referring interpretation of that. How? We would explain on coming slide that how sometimes an expression can be a referring expression or the same cannot be a referring expression. So it depends on, depending on the context. This is true of indefinite noun phrases. So we will explain how an expression can be a referring expression and the same referring, the same expression cannot be a referring expression. So the answer is yes, because we have a particular man in our mind. When I say a man was in here looking for you last night, I'm telling you. So I have a particular man in my mind. So a man, it is used as a referring expression and it has a reference in my mind. Second, so in the above example is a man a referring expression? Yes, it is a referring expression. When a speaker says the first sign of the monsoon is a cloud on the horizon no bigger than a man's hand. So is a man being used to refer to a particular man here, right? Just think about this, right? Here we use a man and we were referring to a particular man. But in this example, the first sign of the monsoon is a cloud on the horizon no bigger than a man's hand. So when, when I say here that a man's hand, so I don't have a particular man in my mind. So this man, it doesn't have a, refer a referent, right? So here a man is not used here as a referring expression. So the same a man use here a referring expression. And here in this context, it is not used as a referring expression because I don't have a particular man in my mind. I hope you got it. Third, is a man in this example a referring expression? Not at all. It's not a referring expression because I am not referring to a particular man. Fourth, fifth, sorry, fifth. Uh, is 40 buses used in 40 buses have been we draw from service by the Liverpool Corporation, a referring expression. This is a question, right? What I'm asking, that is 40 buses. I'm asking for 40 buses. If 40 buses use, <coughs> for example, 40 buses have been withdrawn from services by the Liverpool Corporation, is a referring expression. It's a question. So the answer would be yes, because when a speaker says that 40 buses, so a speaker, just assume that a speaker has 40 buses in mind. That's why he or she is saying. Uh, so is a 40 buses used in the, the engine has the power of 40 buses, a referring expression, the last one, not at all. Because uh, in the uh, fifth, we saw that 40 buses, when a person says that 40 buses have been withdrawn from the service by the Liverpool, so a person has in mind 40 buses. While in the sixth, when a person says 
that this engine has the power of 40 buses so a person doesn't have specific or particular 40 buses in mind so we can conclude that the same expression sometime can be used as a referring expression and sometime it can't be some more <coughs> some more practice are the following referring expression imagine normal circumstances for the utterance first a Norwegian used in Nancy married a Norwegian. So answer would be yes or no. Yes. So the answer is yes. Because when we say that Nancy married a Norwegian, so we have a particular person. And this Norwegian has a reference in our mind. So answer is yes. Right? Second. A Norwegian used in Nancy wants to marry a Norwegian. Answer would be yes or no. So the answer is no because it is ambiguous. When we say Nancy wants to marry a Norwegian, so we don't know. Or we don't have a particular Norwegian in our mind. Right? Nancy wants to marry a Norwegian. So which one? What we are just saying generally that she wants to marry a Norwegian so this Norwegian <clears throat> doesn't have a particular reference here Norwegian use as a referring expression and here it is not right and the third one is a car used in John is looking for a car so what do you think the answer would be yes or no is a car a referring expression or not so the answer can be yes or the answer can be no because the sentence is ambiguous when we say John is looking for a car right so maybe that John or we have a, a particular car in our mind when we say or maybe we don't have right so it depends on situation whether when we say uh, for example I'm the friend of John and I say John is looking for a car so if I know that which car is he looking for, then I have reference of this car. It's a referring expression. And if I if I'm friend but I don't know, okay, that which car is he looking for, then a car will not be used here as a referring expression. So here the answer would be yes as well as no. It's ambiguous. Let's come to number four. A man with a limp used in dick believes that a man with a limp kill boo peep. Answer would be yes or no. So answer would be of course yes because when I say that dick believes that a man with a limp. So when he say that a man with a limp so he has a particular man in the mind. A particular person in mind. So the answer is yes. So here uh, when we say that dick believes that a man so here it is used as a referring expression right now number five a man with a limb used in a man with a limb kill boo peep is in number five a man used as a referring expression or not so it can be or it can't be again it's a kind of ambiguous one right so we can say that when we say that a man with a limb used in a man with a limb kill boo it can be yes when you have in mind ah it can't be when you don't have a reference of this a man in your mind number six a swan used in every evening at sunset a swan flew over the house so answer is yes or no so the answer can be yes or the answer can be no because there may be a particular when i say that every evening at sunset a swan flew over the house so I have a particular swan in my mind or I'm just saying generally that a swan flew over the house right so when I say generally I don't have here in my mind a particular swan then it is not a referring expression and if I have in mind a particular swan then it is used as a referring expression so it depends on situation and context sometimes the same expression can be a referring expression or it can't be 
so thank you so much it was all about referring expression i hope you got it that what are referring expression in the coming lectures we will develop some more notions in semantics such as predicates so keep watching and enjoy learning with mohammad imran please don't forget to subscribe and like the channel